This is Coach DeMarco with another episode of Focused. Today's episode, I'm going to keep up with our recent theme of sharing with you some of my favorite pressure defensive drills. This one is called Circle Trap. And much like the other drills or SSGs we do in practice, I really like it because it, there are defensive benefits and also offensive benefits as well. From a defensive standpoint, this drill is going to teach players to close out to traps and not allow offensive players to split traps. It's also going to teach interceptors how to anticipate where the ball is going to go in order to get steals. The trappers have to do a great job of trying to force the obvious pass to help the interceptors get steals. On the offensive side of the floor, it helps players by forcing them to pass under pressure. And I'm gonna get into one of the specific rules that I would implement to make this a little bit tougher for the offense. It also enhances their decision-making abilities because they have to be able to force the defense to go one way or the other or split the defense if they see a window to do so in order to make a play. So I like this for a lot of reasons, especially as a pressure defensive team. And I'm gonna jump into some of the specifics of what you and your players will need to do in order to be successful in circle trap. So one is gonna start with the basketball. One is over here on the court. And what we, basically what I typically do is I actually have the coach throw the ball to the player. So it could be random. The coach could throw the ball to three, two, four, or one, but that's going to initiate the drill. And what's going to happen is when one catches, D1 and D2 are going to get a nice tight trap, not allowing the one player to split it. I typically have that player hold the ball, and I usually will even count as a coach, one 1,000, two 1,000, and then they can make a pass. You could just do one 1,000 and let them pass, or you could do no count at all. I've used all of these methods. The reason I like to count one 1,000, two 1,000 is because it forces that offensive player to make a decision under pressure, but also it allows players to close out to the traps. What is then gonna happen is our D3 and D4 are gonna be our anticipate players. They're gonna work between three and two in order to try to get a steal. If one is turned to this side, then four is gonna lean a little bit more this way and three is gonna lean a little bit more this way. If one is forced to what would be the defensive left side of the floor and they maybe could throw to player three or two, then D3 is going to get closer to this side, and D4 is going to get closer to this side. What happens is it teaches those anticipators, uh, interceptors, how to anticipate where the ball is going to go and how to get steals. Deflections are worth one point, a steal or a turnover, which could be a travel, are worth two points. If the trap gets split, it's minus one point for the defense. Every time there's a steal or a deflection, we get a new ball in and we start it up live. Usually I have a couple of coaches there with basketballs and they throw another ball in and we keep this going for one minute straight. The reason I really like this is because we obviously use the pressure defense and I mentioned there are also offensive benefits to this drill as well. But just to give you an example, if the ball were to come in I'm just going to put the three offensive three in the corner, the coffin corner in a, a diamond drill. We had a player on the ball and we know in diamond, there's going to be that initial trap in the corner. And then I know there's only four players out here, but we have our weak side guard and I'm just going to put our other defender here. So we don't have our deep defender, but typically what happens is the inbounder steps back in bounds and then teams usually flash someone to kind of the high post area. So my interceptor, who's going to be D4 right now, has to decide, are they going to lean closer to this pass back to the person under the basket, 
or are they going to lean this way, which a lot of times teams do because they don't want to jump this pass and let a defense uh, offense throw over the top and have the team fly down the floor. So they tend to be more conservative. But if they're a really good interceptor, they're able to do both. They're able to play in the middle and anticipate if this three player is leaning towards the baseline, they're going to cheat this way a little bit. If this three player is turning up the floor, they're going to sprint back this way. And also the middle player is going to do the same thing. So that's just one example of where this comes in hand for a pressure defensive team. But again, it's also great for offensive players. I love the circle trap drill. We try to do this at least once a week. And early in the season, we try to get it in a couple of times a week. It's really, really simple. You're playing a 21, you put a minute on the clock, you're going to spend about five minutes of practice time on this drill maximum. Sometimes you cycle through twice, it's only three or four minutes, and, and the game's over. So, and you don't have to play to 21, you can adjust the score as you feel is necessary. So, um, I hope this is really helpful. This is something that I love to do. I have to thank Dr. Dish Basketball and Coach Carl's timeout for partnering up with me to allow these focused episodes continue to happen. I know coaches love it. I'm getting a lot of positive feedback. If you have a question, please don't hesitate to send me a DM at coach underscore DeMarco on Twitter. And please follow the GBET BB chat or the Get Better Basketball chat on Wednesday nights at 8 o'clock Eastern time, 8 p.m. Eastern time. This is a great resource for coaches. We discuss drills. We discuss offensive, defensive coaching, team building, philosophies, leadership, everything with coaches. And we get responses from youth, high school, and college coaches from all over the country. So I highly recommend you check that out as well. This is Coach DeMarco with today's focused episode. Hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you like and comment on YouTube and Twitter. Have a great day, everybody.